What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we are... The snows have melted and we're driving east and we're engaging this force that was previously hanging around to the east of... I've completely forgotten what city's right there, I've been playing this game too much. Uh, but we are finally chasing them down. So let us attack Minsk, that's the one. Find behind the battle map so right now we are charging charging down Russia f on all fronts there's we've almost got Moscow surrounded from the north and the south Wellesley's getting ready to move in from the east so these nines these are nines oh, the range isn't good from here so they might move further up the hill. So that's two guns. To be honest, it might be all of them. I like to look for spaces I can move my artillery into moving forwards. Um, but the trouble is there's a bit of undulation here on the left flank, which makes this not as good of a spot, and the trees will get in the way. Okay, let's split these forces up to a right and left flank. We are a bit attrited, but it's not the end of the world. We are on a very elite force. So the, they've got cover on both flanks. Like I talk about, you know, I talk about concern for being attrited, but look at their army. Michael in the centre. Okay. Foot artillery. I mean, I'd very much like to get, say, down here. Take these flanks. Advance up to the tree line. But not in it. Let's put these Dutch Dragoons up on the hill. Howitzers move up to about here. General, stand near the trees. So there's lots of standard units. This is one thing that I think I need to investigate is looking at options to get more types of units because right now um, there's not the variety you get in Empire. But then again I have got an additional units mod on so it's not exactly surprising. Okay, so these guys have moved up. Then when the infantry gets safely past them a bit, and limber them. Michael Stoll's not being engaged by their guns, which is nice. But we're engaging them. First shot was not a bad not a bad miss. God, here comes that's the hellfire coming Sir, down now. Sir, our general is under Ooh, I took out two of our, our chaps. Oh, they might have been going for the infantry though. Let's run the left flank because they're getting a bit close. They are very attrited. And the artillery is having an absolute torrid time. Because my gunnery is just so much superior. The range is a bit dodgy. As per usual, flank the cavalry around. Place them to a good position to hit their artillery. And it looks like it's going to be a bit of a fight in the trees. As we stand ready around this tree. Hearing the Russian drums. Yeah. 
So learn to cavalry routing. Let's get the guns hitting battlefield targets. Because we can bring in our fast cavalry. So the lance is a countercharging us. Let's get my dragoon guards to match them, and then get my light dragoons to continue going after the artillery. And the battle lines have joined in the trees. God, that's a good sight. <laughs> Too bad the twelfth, the, the only they're down to 115 men at the start of the battle. Few volleys away. Nope, oh, that's enough for them. Come on, dragoon guards. It's more or less position. It's position some of our cavalry waiting for the uh, for the route. There we go. Eh, send the light dragoons to chase down that unit of musketeers. No, you go over there. You go over there. You chase after them. All my guns go after their general. It's pretty damn conclusive. They've changed their their, their axes of retreat. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be bothered about making sure I mow them all down. Mm, let's get Michael involved. Let's halt the artillery completely. Ignore the general's staff. No, don't halt the artillery. Because they've reformed in the trees. And rather than push on, three square formations in the trees. They've come back as well. So let's send this cavalry to go take him out. Send them after that regiment of musketeers. <laughs> These guys should ultimately break from sheer artillery pounding coming their way. Oh, a bit near to you, but you're about to set up and miss your chance. Good. Classic Napoleon AI, this seems to be. Go after their line? No, don't go after their line. Go after the cavalry that's running around behind us. But I feel it will all be for naught. Speed up time a little bit. Because there's going to be some quite murderous close range of volleys pouring into them, even in square formation. Square formation be damned.
There we go. Let's bring the Shino Dragoons back in. Yeah, I'll continue. Let's get my general involved and let's turn off the artillery. Go, go, gadget general. Don't just run up to them. Chase them down. Nice wide charge. Should get a lot of them there. Okay, all of my other cavalry. Get everyone charge over here at top speed. Won't be long before we get a warning that they're getting tired. There's only two of them left. One. There he is. Get him. <laughs> Not close. Not close at all. Not by a country mile. That should be them defeated. Yes. Because that also then leaves the route open for Mr. Paget to also drive north to support Wellesley. Let's get Michael into Minsk. Mr. Abercrombie can... I don't know. I don't know where Mr. Abercrombie's going to go. Let's put my spy aboard ship. And deposit him off the coast of Corsica. Well, onto the coast of Corsica. Ooh, that would be quite a tasty little battle, actually. Militia, fuselage of the line. Fuse it is of line. Okay, I haven't got anyone that can. Oh, got Mr. Hardy. He can go over here to pick up Julian Stark. And he can sail out quite freely, ready. To drop another enemy agent. Sweet. These armies. This band, an entire army. Yes, William de Dornberg. Who do you want to keep? Let's keep Sigmund. Sir, your orders? Well, actually, let's take. So you've got two units, decent units of light infantry. So let's get rid of the. Oh no. Let's get rid of a unit of Dutch infantry to bring over the Black Brunswickers. Let's get rid of the Chasseur Britannique to bring over the Highland Foot. And sorry, William. Away you go. Got one army ready to patrol against the Swedes. And raid, raid this. Raid this street. Yeah, percussion cap was done. Lots of good building work. I have to take Smolensk to open the door. I can't demand the surrender. Wellesley's in for support, but I hope we don't need him. Let's take Smolensk. Let's the last objective. To get rid of the last blocking. Um, what's with the last blocking? They're under siege, so they're not blocking. We can run around them quite happily. Oh, that's a quite an interesting looking position. Very commanding, but they've, they've deployed, or well, they're going to probably deploy quite far back. So it's forming a fairly conventional sense. Because the hills are quite rolling. So we can deploy our infantry quite well. You, you and you. So you guys want to go up here and take this hill. Have the howitzers march up behind you. Let's 
put the Scots Greys and the King's German Legion on the left. Dragoon Guards on the right. General on the centre. Let's get cracking. So a rough position like this would be a good place to start. Well, I mean, we will move up more than this, but like I said, it's a good place to start. If anything, I might be tempted to put these chaps up on this hill. So let's put these guys up as a bit of a blocking force. Cavalry in support. General staff ready. Let's speed up time. Because they've got experiments. Hey, I don't normally see how it says in the enemy army. Um. Yep, cavalry defences. Depleted units of lancers as our line pushes up. Actually, I might put my cavalry here. It's in a slight depression. So it might provide them a bit of natural cover. Well, you're not in that depression. Okay, the enemy's not not really reacting to us. Really, I should probably have dropped them back there, but say la vie. So you want to take this ridge line. But the main effort, we want to get get these guys ready, start bombarding, because they are within range. So let's speed up time a little bit more. If I put my cavalry on the flank, can I draw them in to battle me? Yep, we have first shots have been fired. That's what I want. So I want to probably want to push up this flank. Ooh, you're dropping quick lime on me. You little beasts. Won't be doing that for very long. Oh God, they're moving up. Ooh, that's a good miss. So a focus fire their experimental howitzer with our own experimental shots. Unlimber that artillery. Russian garrison are walking up. No, oh, no, they're just also using explosive shots. Lots of artillery support on this left flank. You need to fill up this gap a bit more efficiently. Don't worry lads, wait for them to crest over the hill. Be quick lime shells. Well, it must be. Look at it. Pleh. Come 
one Coldstream Guard. Get those guns reloaded. Yeah, my hearts aren't and have now changed targets. Let's keep one of them fighting. We can relocate another. Oh, that's some reinforcements. You go after the Cossack Cavalry. Let's get the Scots Greys in into the mix on the battlefield itself. I know he is. Charge my Dragoons in. Smash into the side of those routing troops, Scots Greys. Let's make them shatter so they do not come back. Form square with this infantry unit, so we've got a good opportunity to catch to catch their uh, go after the general staff. We need to take ground. We need to be very careful with Scots Greys; they don't do anything stupid. Like what was already going to happen. Well, I have to say, they've folded rather quickly. Ah, you almost got me. General Staff, you're trying to bait my armies. My cavalry into charging over the stakes. Not going to happen, see? Don't do anything stupid. Trot up into a column like that and then go straight through the gap. Good lads. Charge into that regiment of foot. Okay, chase down the general staff. Let the weakened unit chase down the cavalry unit. I mean, you are in the complete wrong position. Mounted rifles moving in to engage. Get these guys into the town hall, just for fluff reasons. Scots Greys are assassinating the general. We have killed their general, sir. Got him. Now they must pray. Let's abandon the hunt for the general's staff. Probably time to halt all of the artillery. Look at that, very conclusive. 
happens. Mr. Clinton trots up. And these units... Ah, they're not going to get to... I'm not going to get some kills. But that's a pretty good massacre. Um, let's call that a good win. Could have charged them down a bit more, but you know what? That's a pretty done. I think I'm dead completely. Oh, it's because we're... Oh, I don't know why, I completely forgot that we were tackling Smolensk. Just keep the reinforcing on the go. Okay, you're driving east. We've only got Novgorod to the north that's holding us off. The Burris would stay where you are. I suppose I could technically move James English Hamilton up to reinforce, but no, he's too far away. Sweet. Let's bring it William Wickham over to Moscow. Obviously they have no general anymore. Because their only general's over here after a very unsuccessful crossing. They are reinforcing, so they're not going to be out of the game for too long. But I'm thinking, actually, if I pull him back, it might entice them to go back to Moscow. And then I'll send Mr. Wickham over to retake the position. Good. Let's hit end turn. Spies are on the move again. Hmm. Oh, they actually crossed over the river. <laughs> hmm. I was expecting them to, uh, you know, defend their capital, but whatever. The funny thing is, Wellesley's, Wellington's got, not Wellington, Napoleon's got about three-ish full stacks on Corsica, so I'm going to land a hell of an invasion force, and that's going to be a brilliant battle to end the series on, I think. Ordersham Mines. Send Frederick Adam to hit Robert Zablowski. I mean, keep chasing him down. Go, go, Gadget Wellesley. Get Roland in. John Oswald. Get up to the north. Did the general come back? He did. Mikhail Kutuzov is back. Yeah, if you're coming in for the replenishment, you're moving up to take position. That, to be honest, I think I might like this army to attack Napoleon. So, I mean, obviously I have no ports, but if I bring him back to the coast. This is why infrastructure and roads in these southern regions might actually be quite helpful <laughs> to help support a speedy trip south. That's the Crimean Carnate. Lots of, lots and lots of upgrades. Just go into there. Go and infiltrate that army. Let's get you over to the trading company. Let's drop off Thomas Hardy's spy. And let's get Mr. Beardsley into Jean Baptiste. Go and infiltrate. Damn it. Detected. Accidentally clicked on that notification. Julian Stark. Infiltrate Boney's army. We're not having we've not got good chances because our detect our um, agent quality is so low. I mean it seems it's Really, I should have actually pushed them out. Let's recruit that. Hey, we can get some more rifles. Didn't think we could. Okay, you're in a holding pattern. You're in a holding pattern. <laughs> really should have just turned like, so many of these spies around. That's right, go back to Moscow. Form your cities. Form your army's last defence.
you know, recruited. Let's use this like, ugh. Use this light dragoon to kick out this unknown ship, which is it's the fourth rate. Well, 74 gun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Destroyed. So once you now you've done that, you're gone. Lost our fifth rate though to it. I mean, critical needs to upgrade things has rather gone downhill. Go on, Freddy. Hit Robert Zablowski. Oh, just one more time. Push him up. Uh, the spy. Come down to here. Let's start to recruit some cheap ships because we don't need don't need good ones. Good. We've infiltrated that army. Julian Stark infiltrate Napoleon. Nope. Got spotted. But let's have a look at what this army is consisted of. Lots of chasseurs of cheval. Column of attack. Fusiliers of the line. Fusiliers. French hussards. And in Napoleon's army itself. Just lots of fusiliers. Heavy cavalry. Dragoons. Wellesley's going to be in position. Roland Hill's in position. James Inglis Hamilton's ready to push up. Yep, he's blocked because Wellesley's blocked him. Oh, I'd, I'd like Henry Clinton to be there. But do you want Henry Clinton? Yeah, Henry Clinton's got a slightly more interesting army, I think. Scots Grey's pretty neat. And he's got a much more elite uh, army behind him. We might actually send him down here, ready for the attack towards the attack towards uh, Napoleon. I mean, y yes, you've just got some artillery and general staff, although you did get 700 kills. Sorry, Henry, but we are well placed for a next turn attack on Moscow. Uh, don't bother about exchanging. <laughs> yeah, armies are moving south. It's because by my notes we're on part 69. So that means uh, next part could be the end of the the end of the campaign because I'd be attacking Moscow and then I'd be fighting one last grand battle against Napoleon and that should be should be done within an hour probably 45 50 minutes hey Mr Wickham you're not as good as you think you are let's move you down south let's put Wellesley to siege Moscow Move up Roland Hill and John Oswald. Here we are at the gates of Moscow. Where's there the general gone? I mean, I know there's an army around here loose, but don't, I don't care. I'm about to. Oh, I'm not about to knock the Russians out. I forgot about Novgorod. <sighs> um, I think, regardless, I'll probably. Uh, will I? Mm, part 70 is an hour special, so I might make it. I might squeeze it in. Might be able to. Um, but I'm I'm over the <laughs> I'm over the timer for this part. So what I'm gonna do is take George Murray. Get ready to attack Novgorod. But that is the end of the part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and Jesus, he's a really good general. Um hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the assault on Novgorod. Cheers everyone.